This video looks at how to find the turning points of a given function. Now a turning point, or a stationary point, is where dy by dx, or the differential, equals zero. So if I find dy by dx, again I times by the power and take one of the power, I get 3x squared from the first term, and 5x just goes to 5. So the question is, is where does 3x squared take away 5 equals 0. At these values we will have a turning point. Well, this means that 3x squared must equal 5, therefore x squared equals 5 over 3. So therefore to find out where the turning points are, I must find the square root of 5 over 3. But don't forget there are two possible values here. Either x is equal to the positive square root of 5 thirds, which it turns out to be on the calculator 1.3, or x will equal the negative square root of 5 over 3, which works out to be minus 1.3, again to one decimal place. So when we have x squared equals a number, don't forget there are two possible solutions. Now the question says, find the coordinates. So we must also find the y coordinate. So I have to put these two values separately into the y equation on a calculator. When x is 1.3, I get y to equal minus 4.3. When x is minus 1.3, from that value, equation there, I get y is plus 4.3. So my coordinates are 1.3 comma minus 4.3, again to 1 dp, or minus 1.3 comma plus 4.3. They are my two coordinates of the turning points for this particular function. I will briefly mention as well how we can then classify what these turning points are because we either get a max point or a min point or potentially what's called a point of inflection. Now one way to check what one of these what these values are is to do what's called the second differential test. If I differentiate again which means to take my dy by dx and differentiate both these terms for a second time, this becomes 6x and the 5 vanishes. And what I do is I look at what the sign of this function is for both of these x values. So when x equals 1.3, I find that d squared y by dx squared, well 6 times 1.3 is positive. And when this is positive, we have what's called a local minimum point. So therefore, at x equals 1.3, we have a local minimum point. If I then check when x equals minus 1.3, and put this into d squared y by the x squared, excuse me, then I get that the answer is negative. And when you get a negative second differential, it's a max point. So this is called a local maximum point.